Hello all, this is Tarun. Today I am going to show you how to use the grid bar tool wisely in Nuke for this kind of curved monitors. This is my footage. I have cut down some frames from this footage using frame range. I have used the append clip to start it from the first frame. I have already tracked the footage and I placed this image using corner pin. And also I have added back the reflections and lights on the monitor. See I took the alpha from here and I used it as mask and I have graded a little bit to add more reflections. If you have added the reflection using merge plus, you no need to add the grain separately. Ok here you can see that the image I placed here is at the below the edges of the monitor. Because of this curved edge, the same at the top of the monitor. Ok let's grab the, ok let's grab the grid bump tool. And I am setting the divisions to 3. Pick your draw tool from here and draw the shape around the monitor. Make sure that it covered all the edges. Ok now you can adjust the grid warp as you want. But actually it's not but actually it's not an effective way. Delete this grid warp tool. Create a new grid warp tool and to put it above the corner pin. See now it's placed perfectly with the edges of the monitor. Ok now I am reducing the grid divisions to 3. Before we are going to adjust the grid warp. View the reflections. Because then only you can see the edges of the monitor. Also in the grid warp change the background to on destination. And also make sure that you have enabled auto alpha. In case if you don't have the alpha in the plate. Now adjust the grid warp as you want. Also you have to adjust the handles at the edges. Then only we can get the smooth curve. Actually this is not the perfect comp. I am just showing you how to use the grid warp for this kind of shots. Ok I hope you have learned something useful in this video. Thanks for watching.